In this video we'll be installing a free to download mod for Claire Obscure Expedition 33 on the Steam Deck, which aims to reduce stuttering and hitches and improve the FPS of the game. And I'll be guiding you step by step on how to achieve this as quickly as possible. From desktop mode we want to navigate to our web browser and we want to come over to the link in the description for Optimax Performance for Claire Obscure Expedition 33. And we want to scroll down to files and we want to download this one called Optimax Performance. Select manual download and then once you're logged in choose slow download and download this to your downloads folder. In our downloads folder we're going to switch to the third view layout here and then we're going to choose the three lines in the top right hand corner and choose show hidden files as we'll need this later. Afterwards we want to double click on our Optimax Performance zip file that we've just downloaded, choose extract and extract this to your downloads folder. Next we're going to right click on home and choose open in new tab, go inside home and you should see all of these hidden folders as long as you have checked show hidden files from the top right hand corner. And from here, we're going to go inside .steam, Steam, scroll down, Steam Apps, Compact Data, and then we're going to choose Modified twice. And then we need to find the numbered folder 1903340, as this is the folder for Claire Obscure Expedition 33 that we need to place the mod files into. So go in here. PFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, press Name, App Data, Local, Sandfall, Saved, Config. And lastly, go inside the Windows folder. And from our Windows folder, we're going to go to Downloads. We're going to right click on the Optimax Performance folder we extracted. Go back to the Windows folder and paste the mod files in like so. Now if we open this folder we can see we've got three choices default lighting, lumen reflections off and lumen GI off which will change the appearance of the game but you may get performance increases in line with these percentage values. We're going to go inside default lighting just to start and I'm going to choose the ultra performance mod we want to drag all three of these files and press copy and then we want to go back to our Windows folder and we want to paste all three of these items like so pressing apply to all and overwrite. Now if you ever want to delete the mod we just need to drag all of these files right click and delete so that when this folder is empty and you next run the game, the game will automatically populate fresh INI files for you to use from default. Now once you've pasted your files in here like so, we just want to return to desktop and then return to gaming mode where we need to enter a launch command into the game's properties. Once we're in gaming mode we need to navigate to the game's properties and we need to enter the following launch options. Steam Deck equals zero space percent command percent and this will unlock the graphics menu so we can change from low, medium, high or ultra. Once that's complete go ahead and run the game. Now once we're in game from the settings menu I'm going to choose the low preset scaling type XESS and then I'm going to set the mode to balanced and you can change this to performance or quality if you prefer. The rest of the settings are as followed, I've got motion blur disabled, film grain disabled, chromatic aberration and the vignette like so. And we can customise the rendering of all these options as we wish. Now in the overworld you can see that the performance is higher than before, we're getting a lot less stutters and hitches and after testing this for around an hour I can say that this mod it definitely works. And if we go into battle, we can see that the game looks pretty good. 
getting above 30 FPS just with normal mobs. We can lock the FPS down to 30. Go to our settings, graphics tab, change the max FPS to 30 here, Could up the scaling to quality, press apply. And see if we get 30 FPS consistently. So give it a go. This is the ultra performance one. There is a low spec gaming one, which makes the game look a little less appealing, I guess. But it may offer better performance. And of course, we have the lumen disable options as well, which you can try out, which may give you a bit more of a significant boost. So if you do try those, please let us know how they went for you. Before we end the video, I want to give a massive shout out and thank you to The Hybrid, who is the creator of this mod and initially took on the task of creating this mod for us all to enjoy following my original request to them. The Hybrid has a bunch of other mods on their Nexus Mods page for games such as Silent Hill 2, Starfield, The Elder Scrolls, Oblivion Remastered, which I also have guides for linked in the description. So if you enjoyed this video and learned something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.